Hey guys, Diamond Fishing 21 here. Um, today we're gonna be um, taking a closer look at this higher 5200 BTU window air conditioner. Um, I'm not really a big fan of higher in general, but the only reason I have this and keeping it, I'm not selling it, unlike the most of my modern units that I have. I'm keeping this one because, um, well, this is my first ever unit I ever had, so kind of holds a special place in my heart. But it's not really the best unit in general but yeah here's a quick walk around of it here's the side of it and here's the back let me move my tongue down so you can get a better look here's the back of it things in good shape for its age because most of the i haven't seen too many of these at least the r22 models is because probably most of them are dead by now but i kept mine going because you know i clean it out every year you know it's a very clean unit all right, let's go over um, the specs real quick. Model HWF05XC7-T, 5200 BTUs, 9.7 EER, 115 volts, 60 hertz, single phase, 535 watts, 4.8 amps, um, 10.6 ounces of R22, made in China, of course. And this thing was bought in 2006. Not sure when it was manufactured, but it was bought like right after I was born to put in my bedroom because my old house, we had three units in the old house. Uh, well, an, a Friedrich Quiet Master, um, 14,000 BTU unit on 220. Um, a GE 12,000 BTU wall air conditioner J series electronic unit. And this. And granted, the cool got re not no, no the quiet master got replaced with a cool in 2012. It got called so anyway. Um, so literally, um, so literally, um, I basically um, like back to this unit. Um, let's start it up on fan only. Has sentimental. This unit has very much sentimental value of it. I also have to get a new grill for it because when I was a little kid, I broke this. So we always taped it closed. I took the tape off though. All right, let's turn it on low fan. See the fan in there. There's an the outdoor fan. Has a has a broad ocean motor and a retchy precision um, rotary compressor. So let's start up on low fan. It's a slow fan start, but it works. It doesn't blow that much air. Okay, let's switch it over to high. All right, high. Back to low and off. Turn up the thermostat. Let's close look at the control panel. You can see in there, there's your, the inside filter, coil, and all the electrical stuff. Alright, this kind of compressor is kind of loud, but eh, nothing much to, to complain about. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're running. All right, this thing, just thinking now of how this unit runs, it's gonna be a while before it builds pressure. So, and I'm planning on doing a quick full restoration on this unit like I did with the Frigidaire down there. I literally took it down to the base pan because it was so easy, but. All right, let me take this off. Oh yeah, I cracked that as well. That's been cracked for a while. It was either me or my brother who did that, but this thing's gonna freeze up from one of the bet. Compressor sounds a little angry. I think it might be on its way out, but it won't fit still, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Alright, let's go to high cool. Back down to let's put it in between. forming up here this thing is notorious for actually hires this style of hires in general are notorious for freezing up even, even though this thing does have a full charge people were saying in the comment sections in my, in my video that this thing did not have a full charge it does it just takes a while for it to get there the compressor may be getting a little weak though and no i am not replacing the compressor 
If it go, if the compressor or any part of the cooling system goes out, it's gone. It's done. I might get another one, but yeah. After this thing dies, it's gone. It's gonna be going for scrap. All right, you can see the eyes forming. So yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit for this thing to um, build pressure, and when we're done, we'll be back here and we'll film and take some temp checks as well. Oh yeah, let's go around the back here. Yeah, we're at, it's not even warm on this side yet, so. See the motor in there. The motor might be a little bit on its way out. Motor is gonna be replaced. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's wait for this thing to build pressure, and we'll be back. All right, guys. So um. Yeah, it's been running for about a half hour, and it, it's only really, it's not, it's frozen. And no, as I said earlier, it has a full charge. I'm even going to prove it to y'all. But my theory on why this thing is freezing up is, A, it's overcharged, or B, the fan is too weak, and it's not getting enough airflow against the coils, causing it to freeze up. Which, that's my theory, because this is this unit's been out, um, the fan motor's on its way out, too, so. Alright, but anyway, let's see what we're rolling out. 39, 38, alright, let's test the full charge. Alright, 30. This thing's icy cold. It blows cold, but the fan's not strong at all on this thing. Still cold, still staying in the same temperature. Yep, full charge. The fan's just weak. And I've cleaned this thing very well before, but we're definitely we're definitely having some issues on the um, fan side. Actually, you know what? Let's see what the fan temperature is going at right now. Let's find what the fan is, all right? The fan. Oh, we're at like 100. Wow. Yeah, this thing might be overheating. We might need a new motor in this thing. Oh, okay. So my video's full. Okay, we'll see. We're getting back here. About 90. Back here is pretty good, but the airflow back there is just junk. I'm going to have to open this thing up and take a look inside of the spring. But for now, it... But you know what? It only does this when it's in a, a room that's about 70. In here, it's about 73. And it's freezing up like this. But when I had it in the garage um, last... um In the summer, this thing didn't freeze up. Yep, it's about 70 in here. We're getting on this line here. Woo! That's cold. Of course it's cold. It's literally on. Alright, anyway. Let's try high cool. Oh yeah, and I have ran it on high cool. It doesn't do much of a difference either. So A, it's overcharged, or B, it needs an, or the motor's just messed up. I'm gonna grab my nail against this. I'm gonna see how much ice we can pick up into my fingernail. Yeah, that's a lot. But anyway, this unit does run good when it's warm. In the cold, she doesn't do too well, but... Hey, I mean, um... It's just the motor. The motor's getting weak. It's 15 years old. That's a really long time for one of these hires. Not gonna lie. And plus, the compressor is also starting to get weak, so... I'm not jumping it either, not selling it. I'm probably gonna get a new motor for it, see if it works good after. If not... It's basically still going to be with me. Until the cooling system goes completely out, though, this thing's staying with me. So anyway, we're going to... But it runs good, so we're just going to turn off the... Actually, you know what? Let's turn off the compressor and see how long it takes for this thing to thaw out. So, give me a second. Watch it all thaw out. Suction line was also starting to get um cold. Well, it was cold. Let's shut it down. And you can hear on the motor it squeals on low. Well. Since that motor squeal. So yeah, definitely a motor problem, or or it's just overcharged, but. 
other than that, it works good. And the war when it's like 80 plus out, this thing's gonna do a good job. So yeah, other than this thing having a slight issue, um, it's a pretty good unit. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.